so I'm just fasting today in preparation for my ceremony tomorrow and it's absolutely incredible how taking some time off of a lot of the habits that are very draining changes the way I feel slows me down puts me in this like beautiful state it's just like this um one of them the one of the I'll, I'll maybe pick three big ones the like incessant for no reason and plugging into like the internet like just going online and like trying to go to reddit or facebook or reading something it stresses me out so much it like it takes my energy i don't even know why i do it it feels like a way of connecting with with what the world is like or where we're at as a people or something like that but it doesn't feel like it's usually helpful and in general i probably overdo it a lot like it probably would be fine to go to reddit like once or twice a day or something and just like see what's there but i think if i let myself like do it mindlessly i probably click reddit like 50 times a day i don't know some crazy shit. just like whenever i don't have anything just click reddit click instagram click facebook like dude you see my my energy is already changing just thinking about it the other one is random masturbation and porn all the time like just it doesn't come out of anything mindful i mean masturbation is almost never mindful in our culture at least and uh, it doesn't have any like intention with it that is like int i don't know it just it's just like draining and also um smoking or uh, eating at times that are like in a rhythm that is not in tune with my body's natural like up and down energy cycle so like i'll be very tired and then i'll smoke and I'll get a lot of energy and like feel better and then I'll keep doing things and then I'll get tired and then smoke again and it just keeps pulling itself and then after a while it just becomes so draining the whole energy just goes uh... so these, these three things you know it's just like these mindless things and I've been reading up a lot on Ayurveda I think Ayurveda is one of the things that could provide an incredible benefit for most of the world right now because it works it's this ancient indian medicinal approach to balancing our health and our bodies from the inside out and from the outside in so it involves everything like lifestyles and stuff also involves stuff like herbal stuff so a lot of people today too doing like tea um, eating turmeric for health benefits inflammation a lot of people that have these a lot of us have these like things with stress or energy stuff or anxiety if you have any type of health or lifestyle or energy related what is the word i'm looking for I don't even want to use the word imbalances but just yeah maybe imbalances is good just it's not exactly where you'd want it to be it's not exactly ideal or the way you feel and it makes such a big difference to take care of our chemistry and feel it's a little bit complicated uh, in the beginning especially because they use words that are not english and kind of hard to understand if we're not fully aware of the way of approach and thinking about this stuff but 
I feel like it has so much potential. I really, really love Ayurveda. I think there's so something magical there that the world is currently missing. And we're slowly kind of starting to do that. People are trying to take herbal supplements and trying to do meditation and yoga and breathing exercises and different foods and stuff to balance ourselves out. But this is like the fucking diamond mine of that stuff. They've been working this stuff out for thousands of years. People that are incredibly sensitive, very bright, um, but also a lot of people that have no fucking idea what's going on. So that can be one of the problems with a lot of these approaches. Is it? It's so easy to find a personal trainer or a yoga trainer or a nutritionist or something that that is just doing it as a. You know, they don't have something else to do. They just do this one, you know, or opportunistically. Like this isn't their thing for real, like a Paul Check. That guy is a fucking genius. But uh, a lot of people are not like this. So finding the right person to work with is so incredibly important. And just having a sense of awareness of ourselves too. Fasting and oh, yeah. Feels feels good just being in an okay place. I don't know why I don't let myself sit in this type of energy a lot. I just like push so hard all the time in any direction. Just don't take my foot off the pedal. <laughs> And yeah, very excited for my trip to Jordan. It's gonna be a massive lifestyle change afterwards because I'm not gonna really be living with my family much. I think I kind of wanna find my own place. So yeah, it's gonna be an incredible new year transition for me and I'm very excited for where this goes I love you